And particularly people like me, old people, we don't need to you lose muscle. You look great muscle. for 25. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we, we cannot afford to lose mm. muscle mass. And that's one of the problems with weight loss in older people as some data suggesting that you lose it, but when you regain it, you might regain more fat and not as much muscle as you had. And having less muscle is not a good thing. I was reading some of Bill Evans' work, and yeah, he good. is he a friend Bill, of yours? Yeah, oh yeah. Bill's developed the technique yes. for doing muscle mass, and he's he really pioneered this whole sarcopenic obesity. Mm -hmm. And he showed, I remember years ago, he exercised 90-year-olds and showed that you could have a huge benefit mm -hmm. even if you were in your 90s with adding some resistance training. It, it's incredible. Um, do you think that as we become better at identifying skeletal muscle mass, that we will have a, a better way to tell people numbers to shoot for. Yes, yes. It's hard right now because you have to use some, some uh, uh, you know, techniques that not everybody has access to. But, but I, people love numbers. And if we could figure out some way that they could really know how much muscle mass they had, I think it would be great. How do you recommend people track their body composition? So if you want to do it at home, uh, a bioelectrical impedance scale is a good way to do it. It's not as accurate as some of the lab techniques, but it will give you a general sense and particularly allow you to track changes over time if you're losing weight. So that one's pretty easy. Uh, in a research unit, uh, we use DEXA, dual X-ray absorptiometry. Um, your physician can do that oftentimes. Even some of the fitness wellness places have, it's called a DEXA. And it's pretty accurate on separating your body into fat and everything else, which is called fat-free mass. M directly measuring muscle mass is really done right now only in a research setting. And the hope will be, as the techniques are get better and better, that will be more available maybe to primary care physicians. So bioelectrical impedance at home, and then look around. If you really want more accuracy, try to find someone that offers DEXA measurements of body composition. Do you think we'll get there? I think we'll get there. I don't see it happening anytime mm. soon because right now the techniques to measure muscle mass aren't going to be widely available to the mm. public. I would love it if your patients could come in and you could tell them how much muscle mass they have. I mean, we do in in a roundabout way with bioimpedance, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. That and that's good. That's something. Mm -hmm. But you're, you, yeah, 